Hey guys, it's NG here. I'm going to be making a quick tower map here just to show you how I uh, make them. So first thing I do is, uh, like all the perk machines and stuff, I use Harry Bo 2 ones, uh, free path and shit. So I just delete them. Uh, power switch, I have a little line in the code I can put in to make that spawn automatically. Uh, that mystery box prefab doesn't work. Uh, I'll add a new wall prefab, delete the dog spawn, delete the, um, the, zone, the spawner here if you don't want one. I don't want a spawner, do that unless I had control quit. So just like that, this is like a blank map here. We've got our zombie, we got a couple risers, we got our spawners, we got the end game camera. From here, we're gonna select it, shift click, grab the uh, grab your mesh, uh, your brush me, and we're gonna like make a platform to play your spawn on. Okay, so we're gonna make it about uh, 704 by 704. Let's make a little square here. So we'll do that. We'll make little zombie spawners off of it. I think I usually keep my zombie spawners. That's that's a good size one. We'll do uh, these. I'm just hitting spacebar to copy these, and then I'm gonna hit uh, Shift D to rotate, just like that. So just like that, we have a uh, couple zombie spawners. I'm gonna place the zombie spawns in the positions. Uh, make sure your arrow is facing uh, forward, so the zombies are facing the players. Uh, something I do too, if you want to make the map a little bit faster. See, I'll grab both of these. I'll do this. I'll put two here and two back here. Therefore, we get twice the spawners. So I'll do that here. Just uh, might as well. It's a start zone. You don't want it too slow. You also like don't want it too fast. So you got to test it and play with it. Uh, it really depends on your AI limit. So just like that, we got that. Players are going to spawn on here. So as you're going to spawn all around, and that should be good. From here, we're going to start making a tower map. We're going to start by making the uh, first tower, that's a reflection probe. I'm actually just gonna drag that into the map a little bit. Uh, there's two of them apparently, cool. Uh, that was because I copy pasted onto here. Uh, if you have any floating zombie spawns, make sure you delete those. So from now, we have a one platform map. We're gonna make a, uh, a ramp now, because it's the tower map. So we're gonna make it about, uh, I want it a little bit bigger than that. So let's go here, make it about 196, that's pretty tight. Yeah, let's go all the way up to here. Let's go uh, 256. So 256, we're gonna go, uh, we'll do that. We're gonna look at it from the side, hit the E key, ease your extrude button. And all you gotta do is click and drag. Uh, I always say, if, say, see right here how uh, it's half of a block, change your grid size so it's a full block. Makes it a lot easier. So I'm gonna go about here and here. Like that's a decent ramp. So from here, I always try to square it off up here, but uh, just, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna show you how to make a, like a nice little bibble here. So how I make bibbles like really easily. So 256, 256, I wanna make it a corner round. I'm actually gonna make it uh, 512 by 512. So 512, 512. So because I want only a corner, I'm just gonna hit patch, primitive, cylinder. So I have a cylinder now. From here, I'm gonna make sure it's the right thickness. And I'm going to go to patch, curve, curve to terrain. So what that's gonna do is I can grab every single vert now and move it around if I want. Now why I wanted that is because I wanted to grab right here, control shift X. I think that should, I, I actually, sorry, I think I have to grab it right across and do that. Control shift X, that should, should have split it. I hate the split key. Sometimes it doesn't like to split. Okay, what we can do is I'm just gonna go back. Okay, so now it's a, now it's not a patch to terrain. So I'm gonna do, this is a, another way of doing it because the other method I was trying to do doesn't always work. Uh, we're gonna hit patch, delete, first column, and we're gonna do that again. Uh, probably last column this time. Okay, and if I do patch, delete, last column. Uh, do, 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 open the wrong one, patch, delete, last column. Just like that, I got a corner, right? So obviously I need a corner and two tops. So what else you have to do is, again, make sure it's scaled the right size. We're gonna have to make sure we count the verts here. So the verts we got, we got, uh, sorry, now we, got, now we gotta go patch, curve, curve straight. From here, we're gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, okay? Drag it, drag a square, patch, train, simple train patch, make it too wide, so that's this way by 17 uh, high. So I'm actually gonna go 17 wide by two high. There we go. From here, what I would always recommend doing, grab all of these, 
So I hit, I'm in the V, this is uh, your vert mode, V mode. Con so hit V, hold the control key, left click and drag, hit W to weld them and make sure they're in this corner. If they're not in this corner, grab them and then move them, okay? To move them, uh, select it and hit hold alt while clicking. Now what we can do is we can grab this this brush first. This is gonna be our anchor. And then we're gonna wanna, we wanna anchor this to this. Grab this first then grab your mesh hit v and if you go always look at it from this way too because you don't want to be grabbing both verts but grab the one two w one two w so this is how you make like just nice little corners well this is the way i do it to make sure i have like a perfect circle and then you can also copy paste this around the map which is really nice And it should line up because I uh, I counted the verts. So just like that, as you can see, now we have a nice corner. Now we need to put it to the bottom. So what you're gonna do, copy it, and you should be able just to drag it down. Now the texture is gonna be inside out. Hit Control I to invert it. Now from here, we're gonna select top, and bottom and then we're gonna hit the s key this is our surface editing tool we'll hit the natural button so that didn't seem to work now if we hit l map okay l map seemed to work now everything's kind of squared off now if i select this and do the same thing you'll see the textures they they blend perfectly so that's what we want so that's your l map tool uh this here we'll try l map we'll see how it looks so l map's not working but if we hit natural Natural worked. You see that how they work together. I find uh, when it's like a top thing like this, this is L mapping. When it's just a nice curve, you normally use natural. So from there, now we can just copy everything like this, and we'll just copy and rotate, and we'll do this a few times here. Just make sure you're taking the time to grab everything if you're using something like this, because it really sucks when you uh, think you're done and then you realize oh I forgot like five pieces because I didn't have something selected and then I'm just spacebar shift D to rotate I'm just gonna do this uh, three more times just like that and we're just lining these up Okay, this is gonna be the last one here. And then we're just gonna, I'm gonna copy paste this starting platform at the top. So you have to spawn and deal with zombies up there. And then we'll have to uh, do the, the flooring. Um, I think that's what I wanna say. Let me just think here, uh, not the flooring. We're gonna have to do the, sorry, the, I don't know why I said the flooring. The skybox is, as you can see right now, we are actually outside of the uh, playable skybox. So, Right here, you know, players get up on the platform. That's all good. And then that's like, that's the map. But this skybox is gonna be an issue. So what I do, this is just me. I grab everything but the floor. That's why I was saying floor earlier, I guess. Everything but the floor, delete it. Grab your floor. Uh, and then I usually just go down a little bit and up. So I have this big skybox. Now what you're gonna wanna do, is go into your selection csg hollow i'm just going to double click skybox again just to make sure it's actually all about the skybox texture uh it didn't seem like it went hollow i must not have actually clicked it okay was i that duplicated by accident oh okay i had two of them selected that's why uh so now if i just have one selected and you got CSG hollow. There you go. See, now we're inside. Sorry, it wasn't working because I had two of them. I guess I had two floor ones I, somehow. I must have hit spacebar without realizing it. So just like that, skybox is good. Uh, turn my volumes on here. Let's check our, this is our SSI. So this is like the sky that you see. Drag that up. This is your umbra. This is uh, for like, I think your shadows and stuff. We'll drag that up. Uh, then we should also have a, so I have two SSIs it looks like. I think because there should be an umbra yeah ssi umbra and then this 
So I had two full skyboxes in this map. That's what was breaking it. So now we'll drag this one up as well. Just want to make sure the player is always inside these boxes. That's all. Uh, and then do I have two of these? No. Nope. Okay. So just like that, we have our map. We have our platforms. We got a start zone. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to work with the start zone now. We're going to go with our start zone and we're going to... Okay, I definitely have two of these. I knew I did. Uh, got our start zone here. And I typically line it up so it's lined up with the uh, like one underneath here. So when players are standing up here, they're actually standing in both zones. Uh, so just like that, make sure we have our KVPs. Uh, so we got target name is start zone. So this is our start zone and it's targeting the start zone spawners. So always pay attention to that target because a lot of the times it likes to break. So we come here. So uh, I don't really have to make one adjustment from your start zone like by units wise. And then now I can just copy paste it up. So now this is gonna be zone one. You can name it anything you want. Just make sure you have the same name in the script. Uh, we're gonna name this target and then we're gonna go zone one spawners. And just like that, I have targets now for my spawners. And we're just gonna do that all the way up. So now this is zone two, uh, target zone. Zone two spawners. And then, yeah, this is not gonna be fun to watch me do this, but this is how you do it. Zone three spawners. You know what I usually do? I, just, I, I actually just copy this. And then I just uh, paste it in every time. Oh wait, that's not gonna work. It's gonna hit the space key that does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Zone four spawners. I guess what I can do is this. Uh, go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this one here is the final zone when you buy this door. Or else the player's gonna be. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll do two zones here. Perfect. So this is four, and then this is also four. Okay, no. So with that being said, I could just go like this, select all of these. I'll add the target name onto one, and then I don't have to type everything single time. I can just change one number. So yeah, we go here, we go target, uh, zone underscore spawners, just like that, okay? <laughs> this is my ch cheat, cheat way of doing it. Then go here, okay. That's zone four, what's this here? I'm trying to... That's it. Oh, I keep grabbing that. Okay. That's fine. Okay. I guess I'll have to go inside here. So four spawners. Okay. So this is zone five. Zone five. Zone six. So yeah, you, you'll like get your own way of doing things. I'm just, I guess I, like, I knew I had to copy paste it all these times. So I just didn't see the point of typing it every single time. Might as well just line them up and change two numbers. Zone eight, zone eight. So like I did show a little bit more advanced stuff with this. So I hope you guys did enjoy the, uh, the little bivol there. It took a little bit more time, obviously. I, the square in the corner, so much faster, but uh, it does add to the map. I think this is 11. Eight, no, no, this is 10. I always do that. I always skip 10, which is not a big deal because I can just change it on the next one. Like I can skip 10 in the script, it doesn't matter. It's not like it has to be alphabetical order or numerical order. So anyway, there we go. All the zones are now done, I think. Yep, zones are all done. So they all have these little like squiggly things in the middle because they're trying to find zombie spawners. So from here, I am uh, gonna make zombie spawners now. So what I'm gonna do for a zombie spawner is I'm going to make, uh, I'm just gonna make them rise actually out of the ground here. So. I'm gonna disable my volumes. I don't need to see them. I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna copy, rotate, make sure they're always facing forward. And I'm gonna grab and put the spawners here. And then from here, all I have to do is change this to zone one. And now this is now a zone one spawn. So I would do this. And then I would also probably, so now there's two spawning there. I'd also probably 
do a couple here as well. So let's uh, make sure this is zone one. We only want this to activate when you open the first door. It's the player, you don't want them coming back down here if it's easier. So what normally what I do is I'll do two like that and then I'll actually put one way back here and I'll change it from a uh, fine flesh to a, or sorry, not fine flesh, from riser location to spawn location. This is an instant spawner now. So just like that, we got some zombies spawning and then we just probably copy paste these all the way up. It's pretty much all it is. If you want to make a really quick map, it's just a lot of copy pasting. Uh, right here, this would be zone two. This is going to be our zone three. And then these are pretty much going to be all done. It's just a matter of us linking the doors to them, which is kind of cool that that's like all that's really there to make a playable map. And uh, I guess putting those the lines in the in your GSC to make sure the uh, zones actually initiate from the doors. So from here, zone four, zone five, as you can see, like this is really easy. And I gotta do this like 11 times, right? And then I would typically go back through and like add in some uh, instant spawners, like a platform or two lower, just like one of them, just to keep the map kind of fast paced. And or putting like another one of these spawners down there. Because the biggest thing is like trying to keep the map the whole time feeling like the same. So if you want the map stressful at the beginning, you want it like always stressful, right? You don't want to have it like, oh, just open the first door and run back down because, you know, zombies are spawning there and they're out of the way. So where am I? I'm just going to verify now by turning my zones back on that I'm actually doing the right zone. So that's zone seven and I'm doing spawners eight. See it? I'm in seven right now. This is, this is seven. So where did I go wrong? Let me just try to find this out here. I, I must have messed up something here. So one, one, yep, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm actually like scratching my head here trying to figure this out. Because yeah, like this is this is zone six, right? Zone five. So this is zone six. What the? F oh, I think the okay. So because zone one is like this little bit right here. Zone one, okay. Uh, this is zone two. Zone three. Right, like technically this is four, but these should be five, right? Because you're actually at five right here. Okay, I think I got it all. I just confused myself. <laughs> okay, now that I'm like not confused anymore, we're good. <laughs> keep her going. Um, I usually keep these like halfway in the ground. It's are a little bit above. So I'm gonna try to make this Try to complete this all in half an hour it's already 18 minutes i see i did all my challenging stuff i think already so that should be good okay this is zone see now i'm kind of confused because these are zone 11 spawners i'm pretty sure Oh, the only way I can think about actually changing this to make it actually probably a bit better is the start zone here. What I could do is go like this with the start zone, put it where it's supposed to be, grab my zone one, which is right here. Because my zone one should technically be right here. And if you ever copy anything, just remember it's gonna reset that, uh, it's gonna reset that target, so target. Zone one spawners. Okay, so that's targeting there. I feel like I, I messed something up here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, 
11. Because, yeah, this is zone 9, so you're at zone 10 here. So if you're at zone 10, these should be zone 10 spawners. So I'm just trying to figure this out quick. It's probably just something really stupid that I'm just not realizing. Because the door's going to be here. So the door's here, so these have got to be zone 2. Okay. The door's here, zone 3. Activates. Open up zone 4. Open up zone 5. Open up zone 6. Up zone 7. Zone 8. So nine, ten, eleven. So what I'm actually thinking is that I might have missed a zone. So if we go here to our entity list, you can actually look at my volumes and just kind of look at the KBPs one. It's one. One, two, three. So right here, this is the problem. I skipped one. Select, uh, selected. So this one here has been skipped. So if this one is zone, is that actually zone four or is this zone four? So this is actually zone five. So yeah, if your zombies are not working, you screwed something up, okay? That simple. So that's zone five. Now we gotta fix all of them. Six. Six. Sure, this sucks, but you know what? It's always better just to do it right, pay attention to what you're doing. Because I clearly was not paying attention. And like, it kinda, like, I was kinda confused when I 11 was my last zone, because I thought I did uh, 12. And then all the zombies are uh, spawners are already set up, right? So this here is ten. Eleven. Now we got twelve. I did not do twelve, right? I only changed one number, I think, for So that's 11, make sure I did this one right, perfect. Okay, now the zones are all right. That was my bad, I do apologize. Hopefully no one got confused there. Uh, so now we got those, now we'll do 12. So 12 is gonna be a bit of a different one. So 12, we're gonna put them right here like the other ones. Then we're gonna put a couple up top. I think I said 30 minutes for this video, it's probably gonna be 40 minutes. So anyway, now that I go up here, we're gonna throw these in the corner. So just like that, we should be good. Uh, these are all zone 11s, aren't they? Oh, it's 21. So we'll just select them all. And then we'll change them. Boom. Now we have all the zombies, all the zones, everything like that. Uh, what we should do now is put a couple um, prefab browser, put a couple weapons in the map. So for weapons, this is what I'm gonna do. Just to, I'm just gonna do these little things. I'm gonna do 64. I'm just gonna do that. And then what we're actually gonna do is go to the top Using that extrude key again, I'm going to drag it to one, make one bird here, and then do this. Textures, slick. So now if the player tries to jump on it, they're just gonna fall off it. Uh, so now that we got that, I use, here, we'll make that go all the way down just to blend in a bit better with everything else. Now what we can do is grab some weapons. I don't know, I think ZM Core has them. Yeah, they're all right here. So these are all the ones they have. So I'm gonna do Pistol Burst. We'll do an RK5 uh, in the starting room. And then if I line it up like this, I think it should be good. I gotta go inside this chart and look. Okay, perfect. So that's good for what it is. So 
So we got that. We'll uh, put some more around the map. So what you can try to do, and this is going to be a little tricky. So I'm going to change my grid size. I'm just going to try to line it up the best I can here. I know it's not going to be perfect, but now it looks probably a little bit better, I think. So we'll do that. There'll be pump shotgun, for example. The uh, traverse should be inside the wall, just like that. There we go. So I'm just going to put a wall weapon on every other wall or zone with a perk on the other ones. So uh, we'll do SMG stand. Wait, isn't there an SMG burst? I have that here. Oh, fast fire. <laughs> I didn't know it because like I know the Pharaoh is like technically an SMG, right? I think. I just figured you kind of want to balance your map with your weapons and shit like that. But end of the day, it's also going to be is what it is. You gotta make it the way you want to make it, right? So, perfect. Okay, that was kind of stupid on me. I should have just like used the manipulator tool and moved them up. Okay, uh, we'll just put bouncing Betty's on this one. And then don't forget to put like box spawns and stuff. I do have some linked in the server. I know the Betty's kind of sucks because the uh, texture is mildly floating. There we go. We got some Betty's there up here. If you when you drag and drop too, you want to uh, you want to like drag onto something if you want it to like kind of go there and not fly away. So these are just taking a little bit longer to load in because I've never loaded these models in Radiant before and they're really high quality. Hopefully this one loads and doesn't just crash. There we go. Yeah, just be care, uh, patient when you're loading in a prefab because it's got to load like a few things, right? So sometimes it has issues. So just like that, there's some more weapons. We're gonna grab this, and then what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna copy, put it in the same spot. We're just gonna use the manipulator handles instead. Okay, uh, that means the spawners are incorrect in that zone, so I better take a look at that in a minute. So that's good. Uh, let's take a look at this zone here. Zone five. See, yeah, it's missing the E here. Boom, it's all good. Okay, let's add some more. Let's put a AR standard. I think this is a. Well, that's the KN. Oh, nice. I enjoyed the KN44. I thought it was pretty fun to use. The KN, they'll put the M8A1 on the other one, which <laughs> not really a good trade, but there's not a lot of weapons to choose from when it comes to uh, long burst. Yeah, there. Oh, there is the QBD. I think that's the Pharaoh I was talking about. But yeah, when it comes to using the uh, Black Ops 3 weapons, there's not many prefabs to choose from, but it is what it is. I just didn't want to go through and deal with making a ton of these. Uh, from here, I'm going to put a mystery box in. I'm just going to put the ones in that I have linked in the uh, linked in the uh, server, just because I don't want to have to like go through scripting everything. Well, actually, you know, you know what? I can use uh, Harry's boxes, because if I use the T7 one, it should work. So if I go here to my uh, Harry's, um, should be mystery box. The, yeah, the T7 box. And you got to go in order if you use this pack. You have to do one, two, three, four, five. You can't skip around. Uh, you can place them any in like anywhere in the map, but they, you have to have those ones in your map. So this one is just has a clip on it. That's why I did this. So if I do this, players won't be able to go around it. Got a box location. So you have to go all the way to the box, top to make the box. Or what I could do. Ah, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Okay, so that's good. Uh, reflection probe. You should technically reflection probe the map properly. 
when it comes to a tower map, sometimes it's best just to uh, put the reflection probe in an area that is pretty centered and then drag it over the whole map. Not This is not the proper way of doing it, but this is kind of just how I do it from time to time because if it's an open map like this and you got sky, it's not a big issue. So we got starting weapon, we got this. Uh, next we'll put some perk machines in. Uh, you can use the standard ones or you can use the Harry BO2 ones. I'm gonna use the Harry BO2 ones. And just because I want to. <laughs> so we'll do this, put this here, copy this over. I know this is all default texture. I will texture it here. I might I might extend the video another like 10 minutes just to get everything actually done. So I'm doing that. Going, going to uh, have to figure it away. I'm just gonna put the perks in the corner here for floating. So we'll do uh, did shot first. I kind of go between did shot and cherry, I think. So did shot, do that, whatever. Uh, then up here we'll do up here we'll do cherry. Where is it? Am I blind? Okay. Cherry. And then jug. Where's jug? So yeah, you just like this is just kind of me half ass lining it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, PhD, get that extra grenade boost. Then we'll do speed cola. Actually, no, we'll do double tap. Next will be kind of nice to the player. Uh, double tap. Oh, that's the chuck. These are set up as a raise. You can have more than one perk machines in the map. So that's kind of nice. So we'll do that. And then we'll go up here and we'll do uh, Vulture 8, actually. Vulture 8 is nice. I think it looks actually really sexy in Black Ops 3 as well, the machine. Vulture 8. Then, uh... At the top, we can put a Wonder Fizz machine if we want. So I'm put the Wonder Fizz right here. Like, you shouldn't really have your stuff floating like I'm doing right now, but due to this being a sample map, I'm not, like, I'm saving a lot of time by not making floors underneath it. So now that everything is practically playable, we just need to do some doors. So, um, for the doors, you're going to need two things here. You can, uh, you're going to need a Right click, we're gonna hit script brush model. So this is uh, scriptable for me to put uh, put KVPs on and then I can uh, have it delete itself and everything. So we'll just put this like this. Just like that. So what I normally do is I, so target name will do uh, door one. Uh, no, don't use cap locks, make sure it has no, door one, that's 11, I'm gonna can't type. And then make sure you have dynamic path selected up here. Turn that on. So there's one. Uh, we'll put that on. And then what else I will do is I will select it like this with a clip. And then what you want to do is so the player can't jump around it, you do that. So now there's a clip that you can't see and a wall texture. From there, so now the door is like that's all you need to do for like that part. Now it's all setting up triggers. Trigger, we're going to use a trigger use because the player has to go up and use it. Uh, just note this is going to be in the middle of your model. So, uh, and if you use two triggers, just again make sure the target name's there. I'd uh, start the targets there, or else it's not going to work properly. So, first things first, we're going to target. Door script underscore note worthy magic box. Uh, sorry, magic door, I think. Uh, zombie underscore cost. We're going to put this to 750. And then uh, target name. Oh, shit. That's right. The target name's already in here. I think target name is zombie. Debris. I think it's zombie debris. So I think I have everything good. 
Now, I'm just gonna hop into another map file of mine, just to verify it. So if we hop over to Satan Tower here, this is a map I'm working on right now. If I hop into here and I just quickly look at the KVP on my trigger. Okay, so script noteworthy. Uh, so that's good, zombie debris is good, everything's good. Okay, so and just like I expected, everything's good and I just have to put the uh, script flag in. So the script flag is how you activate the actual zone. So now that everything is good, we go here and hit script underscore flag. Oh my god, flag. Uh, you can name this whatever you're going to make it. I usually it goes Z1S, so zone one spawners. And then that's all done. From here, you should be able to grab and select everything. And just go all the way up. And then just like that, we're going to select these two. We're going to make these door two. Target door two. Uh, change the price on this one to twelve fifty. Make it go up five hundred every time. There's another. Oh, and then it got changed the uh, spawners. And just like that, we're gonna do it again. So as you see, it's not hard to make a tower map. It's very easy. Believe it or not, this is, I don't know if I said it, this is my second video. I accidentally made a whole map and uh, forgot to have my mic on. So that was funny. Uh, so you can also use script models too for doors. Uh, the biggest thing is you're gonna need clips again if you do that. So it's just a good habit to put a clip on a door. Going uh, gamer mode on that one. Four. Four. So I'm actually not going to do all of them. I'm actually just going to go up to here because I don't see the point of me going through all of these. Uh, so we're going to make this one. I don't know if I even changed the price of the other door. So you know what, I could have gone all the way to the top. It's just rinse and repeat for the whole thing. So once everything's done, you know, everything's literally done with this map. It's it's fully playable. Uh, one one other thing I guess I could do, because it's a map you can fall off of, instead of, uh, so we're gonna do a trigger hurt. That's gonna hurt the player and the zombies. Go over the whole map at the bottom, just like this. And if I set this to 999 it should pretty much insta kill everything and it's not set to player only so if a zombie falls off the map that's the you know it should be good so now that that's done we're gonna hit f8 go into our game view mode make sure you always save before you do this in case it crashes build your lights so just like that we got our lights once that's done we'll hit save again and we'll close yes want to export lights perfect okay uh we have Okay, my bad. So I think it was saying I had two SSIs. I'm just gonna take a look at that real quick. Uh, you can have two SSIs, but I believe they're not supposed to be touching each other. So I kind of mentioned earlier, I made a map already. So because I made that map already, <laughs> I might've had a duplicate in there. So what we're gonna do is always, I just go to entity list. Uh, we're gonna go for a volume sun. And yeah, there's two of them selected. So if I go like this and hit, uh, turn the volumes on. Select highlighted entity. So this one here is the whole thing. Okay. If I do this to this, this one. Okay, so I have two of them doing the same thing. That was my bad. So now if I build the lights again, <laughs> you gotta be inside the skybox, I believe, to build the lights too. So um, so there we go. And then if I hit save and hit close now, it should be fine. Yeah, okay, now it actually works. So that's how it's supposed to look. We're gonna hit check mark. Uh, link lights and compile ignore errors because I have uh, asset errors inside of uh, ape I should be able to hit build and go, but I told you I added Harry's perks in I'm gonna show you how to script them in real quick So what I have in my downloads I have a black ops 3 folder of all my shit I've downloaded I have a whole Harry folder and we're gonna do the perks here perks so perks are really easy so 
There's a whole t t instruction list here. I'm gonna open it up just to go through it with you guys a little bit, but I already know everything I need. So we're gonna open up our Black Ops 3 root folder. Uh, make sure you install the perks before you do this uh, by drag and dropping everything into here. User maps, the new map, tower test, and we're gonna go into the open me, open me, and we're gonna copy paste all that in here. Give it a second here, perfect, that's all good. Uh, so just like that, that's all I had to do to add this stuff. Now it's a matter of following the script. So a root folder, uh, so done, done. Now we gotta add the perks in our GSC and our CSC. So what we're gonna do is open up our user maps, map name script, ZM, and scroll down so we see our GSC and the CSC. Open the GSC, great versus salmon up here, slash slash Harry perks, so that's a comment. So you don't have to add this, but I'm just showing you. Paste it here, and then this is what I do. This is my way of doing it. I know I don't want Tombstone and Who's Who, because these are gonna show up in the Wonder Fizz. I don't want them. So I'm just gonna go slash slash, slash slash. This deletes them from the map. Then I'll copy this one instead, because it has them already deleted. Now I'll open up the CSC, and I'll do the same thing and paste it right here. As long as both of them are saved, you're good. So that's that part. Next is our how to add the HUD file. So I'm using his HUD. So step four, useless. What you want to do actually is grab this line and paste that above main inside your CSC. So CSC main function right here though. This is where you want to paste it. And then now the HUD is scripted in. Now what we got to do is do our next step, which is adding in our zone file. We're going to grab this here and this can actually go anywhere inside your zone. So go back to the root of your test uh, of your map file zone and it says to put it under here. Doesn't matter, but that's where it says. So I'm going to put it there. And then the last thing we're going to do is add the sounds. So we're going to grab the Wonder Fizz and the Perk. Oop. <laughs> I've added Wonder Fizz and the Perk sounds. And we're going to open up the. Uh, so what you do is hit sound, zone config, open this, paste it right there. Save. Now the perks are all scripted. HUD's all scripted. We're all good to go. We're going to build the map and then we're going to test it. So I hope this map, this. Uh, Tutorial has been useful to you guys. If you follow any of my other tutorials, I have one on how to uh, how to like add custom weapons in it and stuff like that. So make sure you follow the whole thing if you do that. And you are gonna notice your compile time is gonna take a while. It's not gonna be like a two second compile. It's gonna take a while because it's gotta convert all the images inside of Ape. Uh, it's only gonna do it once. So if you make one map, like a test map, add them in it and convert it and then you're like okay that's cool but then you uh realize that it wasn't really um it wasn't really uh I'm trying to make the word for it right now you didn't like you you didn't like the map uh well it, okay let's make sure all the stuff's not downloading <laughs> Actually, I might need that downloaded so I can play, <laughs> test my map. Uh, then you can pretty much just put them in another map and they're already be converted if you already had them in a test map, the weapons. It's really annoying that there's not like just a button to compile the, uh, the new stuff. I guess you could just make a default map and do it. But yeah, everything's gotta like convert. So we did really texture the map, but I added that to texture. So it says build, I'm gonna put it on run. Now it's gonna run, we're gonna test it out and we should be good. And this should be like a 50 minute video. Now there is like little things that I would say are important to uh... Steam is running. <laughs> Sometimes I just gotta close this and reopen it. I don't have it running through Steam, that's why. But I was saying uh, like respawn points are good if you have rising water because people don't want to respawn at the bottom all the time. Uh, I just, oh shoot. I just realized I forgot something kind of important. I'm, I'll show you guys here in a second. What I forgot to do, I forgot to script inside of my zone file. Oh, you know what guys, actually, I just loaded the map. I realized there was a lot, a few things I did wrong. I have to edit this video now, uh, no pad plus plus. Uh, I forgot to put the zones inside of here. I gotta put the zones in here. And I also forgot to put the, uh, 
the start with power on. So I'm gonna start by doing the zones. So there's 12 zones. If I just do this, I should be good. Where is it? It's always in the GSE. So now those are all scripted in. And then now, uh, close that. Now if I go into my Blackups 3, I'm trying to find, like, I think of a map that has it on already. Uh, if our tower needed power, I think Fortnite tower had a power switch. I might not have the code for instant power anymore. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, look, it's not commented out in the same tower map, is it? I think I just didn't add it. Yeah, there's your perk limit right there. Yeah, I don't, I don't see my powers, my instant power script. It might, like, the only thing I can think of is it's, it, it's in here, and I don't think it is. I, I usually clean up everything before I, I finish it. So, don't think I have that line now. Um, shit. Maybe G maybe Cheeto has it. I didn't even. Re I I like how I looked at it five times. It didn't even like register to look at it. I think I I think there is a power switch in Cheeto though. It's right in the corner. Yeah, like there is a power switch. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, I'm just I just want to get the map loaded now so you guys can see it. No, we're open ready. We'll just slap power switch in. <laughs> Okay, uh, ZM should be in the core of the power switch. Right here. And then I'm gonna just place this off to the corner. This actually, I believe, does not have a... Okay, yeah, it does not have a slick clip on top of it, so I better do that. Build the lights again. I actually, I'm not even gonna compile the lights. We'll save time here. But I hope that uh, showed you guys how easy it is to make a tower map. Like this thing is pretty much fully functioning besides the fact that they didn't add those extra doors in. And like there's no Bible landing or anything, but that's that's easy to add. I'll make other videos about that stuff. I'm gonna say this video here is mildly helpful for people to help them grasp how to do it, like and set things up. Now that everything's there. My 50, my 50 minute video, it was gonna be 50. I was so happy and then it fucking screwed up on me. Ignore my shop talk. After a couple days of work, it takes me a few hours to stop swearing constantly. Okay, Steam's gonna give me the, you wanna launch your map? So this the, that Steam thing is only showing up because I have my uh, mod tools loaded, not through Steam. When you go to upload your map, you wanna load it through Steam. I just typically load them not through Steam. Because I don't, I don't need Steam open the whole time I'm mapping. Although it has to be open for me to launch the game. I'm just, I'm talking nonsense right now. <sighs> I'm just waiting here for this to load. 
got volume and everything, so everything should work. You're gonna notice I, uh, I'm gonna have the Cold War perk machines. Yep, here we are. We're in the map. Turn that on. Cold War perk machines. Those are gonna be points. These, so these machines are actually set up correct. So that's good. Zombies are rising. They, obviously, these are the default zombie models. You can just download new ones online if you want. And they're all like drag drop prefabs. Oh, you know what? I didn't even set time to play. This is just normal. Try to get enough points here. I need 750 for the first store. Door by, you see that? Took my points. Now I'm up here. Got my perk machine, I can lay down in front of it. And you see this one's gonna be giving me the points. Uh, due to the zombies all being already spawned on the map, you're not gonna see them start spawning over here, so. I just wanted to show you guys that the zone is working here. The zombies will be spawning here. See, the map goes all the way up. Yes. So they're spawning there. I have an instant spawner in the middle. So you might see the instant spawner kick in. See, they're spawning here though. So with time gameplay, this will be working a lot better. I'll make a video now that we have this tower map. I'll be adding stuff to it, okay? Hope you guys did enjoy. If uh, you guys have any other questions, you can leave them below. Uh, clearly, everything works. I'm sorry that we got a little bit, uh, probably wasted a good five minutes trying to figure out why the zones were not lining up properly. And hopefully you watching me troubleshoot it made it so you can uh, like figure it out for yourself. But anyway, thanks you guys for watching, and uh, hope you have a good one.